been so long, I barely recognize you. I bet you're here for science, right? Okay. Well, what can we do? Let me think. We've got this chair, this huge space, and a compass. One sec. I got a couple of things I got to put together. I just need to find some supplies in the closet. Be right back. All right, so I found some materials in the gym here. I got some tape, a baton, just rolling out my muscles, and one of these things that you see in my classroom all the time, a compass. This little piece of metal, kind of looks like an oil drop. A thumbtack, I actually found it on my seat. I was gonna blame Connor, but he's not here. This string, and I think that's all I need. So guess what I'm gonna make with that? You're right. I'm gonna make an altitude azimuth locator. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna take this string, take my piece of metal. Oh, isn't that handy? There's already a loop on there. And one on the other side. Now check out this compass. Normally we measure it going this way, from zero to 90, but I'm gonna put a string on here that's going to hang at 90 degrees. So if I flip this over, the 90 becomes zero. When I look up, I want my string to go down, so I change the numbers over here. If I'm looking down at something, I can also measure declination. So on this side, I can make that negative degrees. So I'm going to take my, no, I'm gonna do that after. I have thumbtack for my string. I'm gonna do that in just a sec. I've got this, which looks uber cool. I think that's pretty cool anyway. Kind of fun, soothing on my eyes. Maybe it'll get rid of my eye circles. I'm gonna place this in this handy holder, like so. I've got duct tape. Duct tape's a good friend of mine. Not really a good friend of mine, but it comes in handy. Students aren't behaving, tie them to their chair. Good for making paper airplanes, a little bit heavier. Hanging up basketball hoops. You know, the usual. This stuff's really easy to rip, but not super gluey, so hopefully it will work. I'm gonna stick that right on my baton. Get some tension in there to keep that sucker down. So far, so good. Goes over my numbers a little bit, so I'm gonna trim it. And just because I want this to stay nice and precise. No, that's beautiful. I'm gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna take my thumbtack, find my zero. I actually poked a hole, but now I can't see it because there's uh, tape on it. Silly me. I didn't really think this through. Okay. I got that in just right. And now I can put my string on it. I'm actually just going to put the string on that nice little pivot point. So now when I pivot it and I look up, whoop, I can record the angle from the horizon. What do you mean the angle from the horizon, Mr. Bosch? You're right, give me a sec. This all started with the chair. Sitting in the chair, twirling in circles, looking up at the hornet, looking up at the H, beautiful flags, and it got me to thinking, I can use this for altitude azimuth. Why is it called altitude azimuth? I'm not sure, it should be azimuth altitude. Does anybody know what azimuth is? It's supposed to be a five second wait time. Azimuth is the degrees on the horizontal starting at north. Okay, that's great, but where's north? Got you there. I follow my finger. North is that way. Also known, uh, there we go, zero degrees. East, 
90 degrees. It's that little yellow paper. West, let's see, 90 plus 90, 180 degrees, which leads me to, did I say west? That's actually south. This is west, right there. That's 270 degrees. So north is zero, east is 90, south is 180, and west is 270. Now also, I decided to put them on the ground. So come with me. I've got north here. This is all relative to the center of the gym. East 90, south 180, west 270. I also wrote down a reminder for myself. First of all, it says azimuth. You can see right here. Measure clockwise from north. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Second thing I'm going to do is measure altitude. Horizon is zero degrees, point at star, and measure angle. There's a beautiful diagram there. Well, that's what I'm going to use my altitude finder for. So, I'm just going to put the phone back, and we are going to measure some stuff. Let's start with, how about that? We're gonna start with that H. Okay, let's just set this back up and I have to go back to my center position because altitude azimuth is relative to your position. So if I was somewhere else in the gym, I would have to redo this. Maybe I will. Uh-oh, lost my string. So I'm right on the center of the gym my favorite places to be in the school. So, starting at north, I'm gonna turn until I'm facing the Hardesty flag. Now I am just past 90 degrees. 180 is over there, 90 is over there, so I'm gonna say I am at 100 degrees from clockwise. Now from this position, I'm going to zero my altitude finder right now. It's pointing at the horizon. It should be reading zero, which it is. From here, I'm going to look up, and I'm going to center the H in my camera. Looks real good through here. And I've got 27 degrees. Pretty cool, right? So that H was at 100 azimuth, 27 degrees altitude relative to my position. So azimuth, 100 degrees altitude, what did I just say? 27. I think I said 27. I have to go back and check. Not 27. Now, I'm going to remember that. And I'm going to go over to where me and Miss Stullery sit all the time. See if it's similar. You think it'll be similar? Because it shouldn't be. Okay, go for a little ride. Should have put this camera dolly on wheels. Oh, it's a beautiful telescope. Kind of in the way though. Come back to that later. All right, so if I normally sit here, I wanna know what the flag is from this location. H at center. H at front. So what's the first thing I need to do? Well, I'm pointing north. Actually, now I'm pointing north. And I have to go how many degrees? Well, I'm gonna use this to figure out how many degrees also. My north is at 
zero degrees, and I turn here, and I look at the flag, basically I'm at 90 degrees. Interesting. So already this is way different. So my azimuth is 90 degrees. That also means I'm facing east. So from this position, I'm going to use my altitude finder and see where we're at. Let's have a look. Zero. This is really a nice altimeter, by the way. The angle's not a whole lot different. I'm at 29 degrees this time. So 90 degrees, an altitude of 29 degrees. Azimuth altitude, not very difficult. Start at north, go clockwise from north, then look up and record the angle from the horizon. Remember, azimuth altitude coordinates are relative to your position. So if you're looking up at the moon tonight, your azimuth altitude coordinates will be much different than mine. I live in the west, you probably live in the east, or maybe the south, or maybe even Sherwood Park. We're all over the place. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Yep, that looks like zero degrees. Oh, hey guys, just playing with the telescope. It's got this really cool feature where I can check out the azimuth and the altitude. It's really helpful in locating stars. So I'm going to use this telescope to double check the results from my homemade altitude azimuth locator. So first of all, I'm looking through the rectacle and I'm looking north. Actually, I'm not looking through the rectacle. I'm looking through that dot there. And I know I'm pointing north and I had that set at zero degrees. Now I'm going to line this up with my flag. Oh, it looks a little tight. So as you can see, the degrees are changing. 90 degrees, I should be pointing east. Yep, that looks like east. I was at 100 degrees with the previous method. So let's see if that lines up. Looks pretty good. Not bad, Bosch. Now I need to do the altitude. So right now I'm at zero degrees. I'm going to loosen this. I've had some difficulty with it, so hopefully it works properly this time. I'm going to move this up until I can see, wrong angle there with the phone, until I can see the hardesty flag. So, just bear with me for a sec. Here we go, I've got that locked in. Just let me double check that. I've got that locked in and it says 22 degrees. So, that's pretty decent. My homemade jobby told me 100 and 25 degrees. This tells me 100 and, oh, I read that wrong, didn't I? Each one of those goes by two. So 23 degrees. Awesome, they're the same. Let's see what else we can do with this telescope.